Imagine you're going to a library. This isn't just any library, but a futuristic one with billions of books that cover every topic imaginable. Whenever you have a question or need information on something, you'd want to find the right book quickly, right? Now, imagine if this library had a librarian that could instantly provide you with a summary of the best book for your question. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Google researchers Yuri Zemliansky, Mikhail de Jong, and Luke Vilnis, among others, have ventured into this realm of thought. Their recent paper sheds light on a novel method called Memory VQ, aimed at making our AI models not just knowledgeable, but also lightweight. This is a huge challenge because most AI models today require a lot of memory and computational resources to operate. And as the amount of data in the world grows exponentially, this problem will only get worse. So how do they solve this problem? Well, they use a technique called retrieval augmentation, which is a method where models fetch information from a vast knowledge base instead of relying on their own internal memory. This way, they can access more data and knowledge than they could ever store themselves. One example of a model that uses retrieval augmentation is Lumen, which is a memory-based model that pre-computes token representations for retrieved passages to drastically speed up inference. Lumen can generate high-quality images, videos, and speech, as well as doing high-quality speaker conversion and unsupervised learning of phonemes. But there's a catch. Memory-based methods like Lumen also lead to much greater storage requirements from storing pre-computed representations. This is like carrying all the books from the library with you instead of just borrowing them when you need them. It's not very efficient or practical. That's where Memory VQ comes in. Memory VEQ is a new method to reduce storage requirements of memory augmented models without sacrificing performance. It does this by compressing memories using vector quantization and replacing original memory vectors with integer codes that can be decompressed on the fly. This is like converting hardcover books to ebooks. They take up much less space but still contain the same information. Now, how does vector quantization work? Well, it's a technique that uses a vector quantization variational autoencoder, VQVAE, to compress data. A VQVAE is a type of variational autoencoder that uses vector quantization to obtain a discrete latent representation. It differs from VAEs in two key ways. The encoder network outputs discrete, rather than continuous codes, and the prior is learnt, rather than static. In order to learn a discrete latent representation, VQVAE incorporates ideas from vector quantization, VQ which is a method of compressing data by mapping similar vectors to the same code word in a codebook. The codebook is essentially a dictionary of codes that represent different vectors. By using VQVAE, memory VQ can reduce the size of the memory vectors by replacing them with integer codes that correspond to the code words in the codebook. The cool thing about this approach is that it allows the model to circumvent issues of posterior collapse where the latents are ignored when they are paired with a powerful auto-regressive decoder typically observed in the VAE framework. By using discrete codes instead of continuous ones, the model can preserve more information and diversity in the latent space. The researchers applied Memory VQ to the Lumen model to obtain Lumen VQ, a memory model that achieves a 16x compression rate with comparable performance on the KILT benchmark. KILT is a collection of knowledge-intensive tasks that evaluate models on their ability to generate natural language from structured data. Lumen VQ enables practical retrieval augmentation even for extremely large retrieval corpora. This is honestly amazing. Think about what this means for AI applications. We can have powerful models that can access and generate information from massive knowledge bases using much less storage space and computational resources than before. This could enable us to use AI on smartphones and edge devices without relying on cloud servers or expensive hardware. We could embed powerful AI into our daily lives without worrying about storage limitations or costs. This research is not only a technical breakthrough, but also a step towards making AI more accessible and integrated into our society. I think this is one of the most exciting and impactful papers I've ever read, and I'm really impressed by the Google research team that worked on it. They are a group of brilliant and diverse researchers who collaborated to create this amazing innovation. This shows how collaboration can lead to groundbreaking advancements in AI and how we can all benefit from their collective efforts.
Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.